everybody and welcome to the Denver and Rio Grande Western Iron Horse Route, my in-scale model railroad channel. If you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe right now and click the bell icon so you can be alerted to future uploads. Stick around for today's video. It's coming up. Good afternoon and welcome to a very wet and soggy South Mississippi, the smoking train shed. Um. Hey, good morning. This is Brian with the Iron Horse Route coming to you from a wet and soggy smoking train shed a little more than one year later. This is a train shed tour update, everybody. I got an extension going on the way that I talked about a little over a year ago. I got all the bench work done for the extension that I talked to you about over a year ago. I'm about to show it to you, and I'm going to do it right now. Stick around. Don't go nowhere. All right, here's what I wanted to show you. Here is the layout now, okay? My triple T loop and all that craziness. I knew I wanted to go down here. So I had to figure out a way to get from the table up here to continue on. Why I didn't make the table higher is way beyond me. But here we come in, trying to be as steady as possible. This is the layout view you've seen many times before. And we're going to come in and table where I do lots of work. Actually, that's going to be taken up one day, some of it. And through here. And we have tools here now. And that probably will, won't stay. And we have AC. Um, basically, right now, what is going on is down here, we have redone pretty much everything. Um, the helix is redone with hardboard instead of foam and everything has pico flex and turnouts We also have a new addition to our house named Gracie. She's quite a big dog. This rail is here to protect us from Her pulling that helix over we're hoping all right We have as I said I have to put in some scenery here and in the previous episode I let you know that one of the things I wanted to do in the near future was to extend up this table which I have done all right I have added a couple terminuses coming off of this that were not initially planned to come down under here into my uh, gross reservoir area there's going to be a lot of water and whatnot down here a couple industries going to be serviced from these terminuses all right, got flex on the way, and we're going to be running down here soon where we hit the Moffat Tunnel. Each of my areas here, here, and here will have places to turn entirely around to get into and out of. So turnouts, okay, so they can be extended. And I did that for financial reasons. See, I can run this main line right now, all right. And while I get the money and the time and the uh, and everything I need to extend to here, I'll drop two turnouts in there and do the same thing. So my next main line will come to here, and that'll be my full line for a minute. A All right. 10 by 16 shed. And we'll give you, a, that's what we got now. Like that corner, one more loop. That'll get us a little, little bit, which I need to do because if I keep it about a 3% grade and come through here and do another one right there, that's going to get me, I've got to get clear of that AC. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to have a helix there if I need because i got to get clear of that AC. And then I'm going to come down through here, across here, and actually this area is where I wanted to like do a removable kind of transparent Moffat tunnel. Okay, and then I want to come through here and we'll have a turnaround basically. And this area will be modeled, this area will be like, look like Winter Park, the base of Winter Park. Right here, this is where my line, I run the line between Denver and Winter Park, Colorado, okay? And the Moffat Tunnel hits my line right here, everybody. This is Moffat Tunnel, the east 
portal of the Moffett Tunnel on my line right here. I'm going to have uh, another little helix and everything to help me get up to here. All right, once I get here, we're gonna roll down and that is my scale six mile Moffett Tunnel. Okay, we come over to this area and that is the west portal of the Moffett Tunnel where my happy little train will pop out as it comes through the Continental Divide at Winter Park, Colorado. This area right here will host my uh, condominium, the Iron Horse Resort. All right, we'll be right here. Then we'll get into a large mountain. Um, we'll have some ski area in the distance and those kind of things, some shops, some parking areas for the trains, as much as I can fit in there nicely. And you so know, this is- The train will come here, stop, pick up passengers, freight, what have you, turn around and come back down. Okay. Zoom, 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 down, 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 and reconnect in here. You can actually do that with no turnouts if I wanted to. Now I'm going to get into that soon, but here we go, and down here and around to Denver. Okay, so that would be Denver to Winter Park. The route is actually a 2% grade, pretty much continually, the prototype. And if I go three, I can pretty much get up over that AC with maybe two, one or two loops and then come around and end up at Winter Park. And you know, this is a new bench work right here. This is a new shelf, new bench work new table, new sub road bed, new cork. Completed this extension so far, and I wanna thank y'all for coming on the tour with me today, I appreciate it. There's been a lot of developments in here, everybody, and I wanna encourage you, don't forget, uh, Saturday morning, 10 a.m., back on track, and this Wednesday, everybody, right before Sparky, 6 p.m. on Schoolkill River John's channel, we have the Community Roundhouse, episode six. That's starring Rick Bailey. It's a great episode. Don't miss it, everybody. 